Hello, welcome to another episode of Ken Fashion Journey. And today we have a special request from one of our regular viewers and he would like me to share and talk a bit about collar bars and also tie bars. And as usual for me is that, okay, I got the topic and right now I need a photograph for my inspiration. And the photograph for my inspiration for today's episode is none other than the father of fashion, which is Mr. Fred Astaire. Come, let's check As it out. I open my Pandora box, I retrieve the following collar bars, whereby there is the, uh, the safety pin style. This is the vintage safety pin style of a uh, collar bar, which I have. It's from London. And then this is the also the collar bar, whereby you don't have to pin it, and you have to just have to slid it on. And this is the one whereby you have to screw it. And last but not least, the safety pin style, which is actually the most elegant. And I will tell you about the story about this safety pin and how I use it. And also at the same time, there are actually three length for the uh, tie clip. This is the longer length. And then there's in between, there's a middle one, which is slightly shorter. And then this is the, the shortest length for the uh, tie clip clip. Let's come and check it out. Foremost, let's look at the collar pin. Because the purpose of the collar pin is that it will make the collar snug nicely together with the necktie. So that when you put on the collar bar, or you can call the collar pin, is that the tie will stand up. Meaning that the tie stand up is that it gives the tie Life. Life means that means your tie is standing attention and you will be given the look and impression of the added elegance, especially when you wear a suit. And like this outfit is my favorite because I was inspired by Mr. Fred Estes photograph. He also donned a uh, pinstripe suit and then with the dog's tooth necktie together with the uh, a blue shirt and I like to pair it uh, with a gingham pocket square so that it will give the nice monochromatic contrast and I don't want to wear the flower just to be simple just wear a small lapel pin with a very subtle uh, stone on it and then it will look good and as spring summer is here you know then we also pair it with the spectator shoe and of course to match it up will be the elegant and sporty one thing is for sure is that i would like to recommend the rule of thumb when you put on the collar bar or the collar pin you don't use the tie bar or tie clip already because there will be too much there will be a piece of metal over here and then if you put another Thai bar over here, you know, you are just like being a prisoner to me, you know, like you are being a convict, you are being handcuffing your neck and also you are handcuff, handcuffing, okay, your body. That's why, don't be overdoing it. That's because the most important thing is that to have the Thai clip or the Thai bar is to secure and fasten the neck tie so that it wouldn't be flying around as you move around to be active. And also at the same time, when you have the collar bar over here, you don't wear the uh, tie bar anymore because the collar bar, the tie clip over here will be able to push up the necktie and make it look alive and stand up as a tension. Remember, I like to say it once again, the rule of thumb is that when you wear the collar bar or the collar clip, don't wear the tie bar or the tie clip. When you wear the tie bar and the tie clip, don't wear the collar bar or the collar pin. It's either or. You just have to pick one. Don't exactly the same is that when you put on a suspender or you call it braces, you don't wear a belt. When you put on a belt, you don't wear a suspender or the braces. It's either or. Because the thing is that people will say, you can't even trust your own trousers when you wear a suspender and the belt together. Same thing. People will say you don't even trust your own self-confidence 
or your necktie at all when you want to wear a tie clip together with the collar bar. So it's either one or the other. That is the most important rule. Let's look at the different type of a uh, collar bar we have. Like this one is the slit on type. This slit on type, it's not really very practical because over time, this piece, it will become loosened and then it wouldn't attach firmly on the collar. To illustrate what I say is that what we see over here, it looks really elegant. But the thing is that when you have a closer look on this type, whereby you don't have to uh, do anything, you just have to uh, slit it on in between your collar and then it will look nice. But over time, this one as you use it over the years, you see, this thing will become loose and you will have a distance. That's why it will, wouldn't hold the collar to the tie properly. That's why this is nice. This is really good when it is new. But after a year or so, it will become eventually loosened and it's not practical anymore. Coming down to the uh, safety pin, which is the best, okay, there is a type whereby it is the safety pin style. This is the safety pin style. And then there is another type, which is the best. And the most elegant is that I have it somewhere with me, but I don't know where I place it for the time being. And I uh, apologize for it. What happened is that this one, will be really durable, the safety pin style, which is the best, which will be very durable and it will last a lifetime. Like this one, which I have is from a vintage store in the London. And I particularly like this one because this is actually a safety pin from my baby days because my mom used this safety pin to clip on my diapers. This is also the same, sa another safety pin also whereby my mom used to clip on my diapers when I was a baby. So this is really a, a very sentimental and I like to recycle it and use it and incorporate into my wardrobe as an accessory just to reuse it for a new then purpose. We have this type whereby it is a pin. So this is actually a, a screw on type but the thing is that this one is your shirt must have a hole in it. That's why you have to ask your tailor to punch a hole through it or you or it comes originally with a hole already down there for you to use it. Be it with this type with the uh, screw on a uh, tie clip. Now let's have a closer look. This is the screw on tie bar whereby this is a screw over here and then you screw it on. And then from there, you slit it through the hole. Like for this Brooks Brothers shirt, originally it doesn't have the hole. So what I did is that I took it to my tailor and then he did two holes for me so that I can use my collar bar, which is a form of a safety pin like this, across it. Or I can use this one, which is a screw-on type. However, there are certain shirts in the market whereby it will come ready with the hole. Coming down, the question is that how you use this safety pin for those shirts without a hole and you can punch it through. You might damage the shirt. That will be a question, but not to worry. As you can see, shirts over here, they have a bone. They have a top stitching across. So the best one is that you have to put your, your position, your safety pin over here at this bone over along this line and then you slowly slit it through but make sure don't poke your neck and your fingers you just have to be careful and then after that after you use it you know you smoothen it back up and you walk then you laundry it and then the hole will disappear and when it comes to tie clip what i have over here is that uh, this is the regular tie clip so how to use the tie clip very simple. Whenever the position of the tie clip is, you position it, you clip it on the third and fourth button of the shirt. So let's start counting. Button one over here, button number two, and then button number three, and then button number four over here. So this is between the button number three, button number four. So this, you clip it in between there. You see? And then the purpose of the tie clip is that you have to clip it, make sure you clip it together to the shirt placard so that it won't fly up and down, you see? So, because then, when you clip it, okay, you will push the tie up and then it will give 
the Thai life and it look attention. This is the purpose of the Thai clip. Make sure that you clip it together on the shirt placard. And then no point for you just to clip the tie like this and then it start flinging around. It is defeat the purpose. You might not, you might as well don't use it at all. So when you use the tie clip, don't ever just clip it like this. It defeat the purpose. The purpose is that you have to clip it together with on the shirt placard so that it will hold the tie yeah, for um, shorter time. Clip so like this type because this is meant for the slimmer with necktie for the gentleman. Well, I guess we are good today for Ken Fashion Journey and please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and then I look forward to see you in the next episode of Ken Fashion Journey.